Let's talk about some of my favorite wardrobe pieces that I currently own that truly never fail me. What is up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanna walk you guys through just 10 classic, simple, and just my personal go-to style of pieces that truly just always have my back when it comes to putting together outfits. These pieces right here, I don't have to think about them. They pair well nicely with each other. And these sort of 10 styles and categories of pieces that I personally own, if you don't already, I think could really benefit you putting together your personal outfits. And if you're just starting out with your men's fashion journey, I think this is a really great starting point and a really great first video for you to watch to start building your future sort of wardrobe if you like my personal style. Item number one would come as no surprise. Let's talk about these combat boots from Prada. These boots right here, I've had them for almost four years now and they have definitely held up over time so beautifully and they've only gotten better. The leather, the nylon, the little sort of Prada embellishments throughout the boot just make what would and what is essentially a traditional style combat boot that much more better. This is just my go-to for the fall and winter season. The reason why I love this style of boot is because you can truly dress it up or dress it down with any sort of outfits that you're thinking of. I love how this just always comes through for me when I'm thinking about an outfit for this time of the year. Over the years of owning this, even though I love it so much, I'm fully aware that not everyone is working with this sort of price tag. And I actually have found some really great affordable alternatives. So I'll be sure to leave that link in the description box down below for you guys. But overall, this definitely had to be number one. It is truly my favorite piece out of my whole entire closet and wardrobe. And it is definitely a piece that is gonna stay with me for years to come. Let's talk about a piece of tech that could be such an amazing wardrobe essential, and that is this Samsung Galaxy Watch Sticks Classic, courtesy of Best Buy. Shout out to Best Buy for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel. With this segment in this video right here, I wanna talk about two things. One, of course, being how I personally would use and benefit from the Samsung Galaxy Watch Sticks Classic. I'll talk about the features, how I personally use it in my everyday life, and how a smartwatch just like this could benefit you guys in your everyday life as well. Secondly, I wanna show you guys guys, the perfect outfit recipe that I would style with this Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. I feel like styling smart watches isn't something that is usually talked about. And while this Samsung watch right here is beautiful within itself, it's always nice to kind of give you guys a little bit more context and examples into how I personally would style things. So I'll show you guys how I style this watch and how I use it, and we'll go from there. As someone who is always on the go, prioritizes being proactive and productive in all areas of my life, and naturally someone who likes putting together outfits, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic is the perfect option for me. As you can see, I styled it with this outfit, keeping it super neutral and simple, perfect for another busy day in the life. With a sleek silhouette, interchangeable watch faces and bands, a rotating bezel and a large display, the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic elevates the iconic look of a traditional watch. Whether you're wanting to stay connected on the go, like going through your texts, calendar reminders, taking phone calls even, all from the convenience of your watch to someone who loves fitness and is looking for features like HR zone and recovery with sleep tracking or if you're simply like me and you're looking to elevate your style with a modern and most importantly practical accessory the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic from Best Buy could make for the perfect addition to your year-round wardrobe thank you once again to Best Buy for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic this specific one right here this is the box by the way super nice packaging just like really minimal I will have have this linked down below for you guys. This would make for the perfect holiday gift for yourself if you're looking to treat yourself to something nice during this holiday season, or of course, if you're looking to gift something special to your loved ones. This right here is perfect for just anyone who is into a little bit of everything. You guys saw the features, you guys saw the outfit. This is truly just such an amazing piece and I think would make for a great addition to anyone's wardrobe. I will have this link down below for you guys and thank you once again to Best Buy for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. This is another favorite of mine. This is a super oversized coat from H&M. You would never really tell that this is from H&M because the quality, in my opinion, is truly there, if not even higher than what is to be expected from H&M. Kind of diving into just the overall details of this piece right here. As I said, it's super oversized because I intentionally sized up two sizes for this particular coat. I love the over-exaggerated, double-breasted sort of collar. I love the buttons. It kind of has like this really nice tortoise-like sort of look and feel. 
feel and the overall quality of this jacket. I was so surprised when I found it in store. This coat right here, I believe it retailed at just under $150. And so it is on the steeper end for H&M, but I think it's pieces like this from fast fashion retailers like H&M that is truly just like the little gems. It's kind of one of those things, you know, you have to go into the store to try things on. And when you do, you, you can truly find little gems and you would be pleasantly surprised what you could find there. If you guys follow me on my other social media platforms, like on Instagram and on TikTok, and if you watch all my other YouTube videos, I think you guys will tell that my fashion sense and my sort of personal style is very and truly a mix of high and low. Kind of going back to the first piece that I mentioned, which was a pair of Prada boots, I would naturally pair that with that said H&M overcoat. It's all about mixing and matching. And again, not being too tied to wearing all designer or wearing all cheap stuff. Work with the kind of budget that you have and be open to mixing and matching things that you wouldn't necessarily think of because I think that's kind of the secret sauce to creating good outfits is you got to mix and match. That coat right there is from a couple seasons ago, but H&M always has amazing coats throughout this time of the year. So I'll leave my favorites linked down below for you guys. This could not and would not be a Stevie Solly wardrobe favorites without a mention of my latest collaboration with Article & Goods. This bag right here, I released at the top of this year and it has sold out since. Thank you guys again for the love and the support on this bag in addition to the other bag that I dropped. For those of you guys who are new, I designed this specific tote bag that you guys are seeing on the screen. Some details about this is the really thick and chunky handles, the removable and adjustable crossbody strap, and then just the overall oversized shape of this tote bag all the while holding its structure with a really nice sort of key fob and keychain in the front and just the minimal branding and not to mention that really soft yet structured leather that will only age even better with time this tote bag right here is truly the tote bag of my dreams that is why i designed it and it is a piece that i wear and use every single day i'm actually sampling my next uh, bag collaboration with them so i'm not using this one currently like as of today but just right before I was sampling the new one, this has been my true go-to. It fits so much. I think just generally speaking, I am always and forever will be a fan of oversized bags. I feel like there's just something about it, the practicality, the visual interest that it offers, and just the overall sort of bang for your buck, so to speak. Obviously, when you are purchasing a leather goods, chances are the price tag is gonna be a little bit more steep. Instead of investing in a small bag that doesn't fit anything, you should, in my humble opinion, probably opt for something that's gonna fit your everyday needs. A lot of us are going back back to work, going back into the office, or if you're just a busy person like myself and you need to carry a bunch of stuff, an oversized tote bag is the way to go. That one, as I mentioned, the one I designed is currently unavailable because it did sell out. And so until my next one drops, which is during the holiday season, stay tuned for that. As I'm getting older, my true go-to base layer is something that is just always comfortable and what is more comfortable than a hoodie. This one right here that I'm holding is from Abercrombie and then the one that I'm wearing is from Zara. These are the two hoodies that I would highly recommend and that I always gravitate towards. And you see me wearing one like on my Instagram, on my TikTok, on my other YouTube videos, chances are it's either this one from Zara or again, this one from Abercrombie. I have both of these styles in numerous colors, other sizes if I wanted one to fit a bit more fitted or if I wanted to to fit more oversized. I think the reason why hoodies are always a go-to for me is because I think just naturally the way that I dress is I feel like I could truly dress it up or I could dress it down. And I think that's kind of the overall arching theme of this video is I like to invest in pieces and get pieces that I know is gonna work with my more dressier outfits and then my more casual outfits. What I look for in a really great hoodie is a really nice oversized hood. So you guys see how this one from Zara is just sitting really nicely on top of my overshirt. That is definitely number one I love a really good thick waistband and cuff and for the shorter fellas like me I'm barely like 5'8 a lot of these sort of hoodies they're nice and they could be super perfect but they are really long my top tip is if you invest in and get a hoodie that has a really nice waistband instead of wearing it just like straight down what I like to do is I like to fold it and tuck it in so it kind of creates this really nice cropped look because for me personally and my body type I have a bit of a more shorter torso and so that's how I make my hoodies look and fit and feel the way that it does. Touching on an accessory and a style of accessory that I always gravitate towards pretty much all year round is sunglasses. My go-to brand for sunglasses is Aquila LA. You guys already know what it is. I have so many frames from them. This one in particular is a newer style and it is my favorite style from them. These are called the, there's a name on here. These are called the Eris, I believe, A-R-E-S. 
And as you guys can see, it's just a really nice, chunky, yet not super oversized pair of sunglasses. It's still structured and it's still kind of squared off. It's not too round and it's not too big. Round and big sunglasses don't look good on my personal face shape, but this style, I'm not exactly sure what you call it in terms of like the technical terms, but just this sort of shape and silhouette looks perfect on me. And I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this one. I love Aquila LA glasses because they come in so many different colors. There are a ton of different options. I think I love sunglasses because it's just a really great, seamless, effortless, and for the most part, fairly affordable outfit finisher. You could have the best outfit, but there's something about throwing on a pair of sunglasses that just kind of really elevates and takes that outfit from here all the way to up here. This is also another piece that would come as no surprise to you guys. Let's talk about the Abercrombie workwear pants. These pants right here, you see me wearing it in almost every single outfit, almost every single YouTube video. And if I had to sort of recommend one style of pants that is currently trending, but I feel like is going to stay, for lack of better words, relevant and looks good with almost any sort of outfit, it would have to be these Abercrombie workwear pants. I have these pants in so many different colors, size options, depending on how I personally want it to fit, different sort of patterns. They have regular base colors. They have more colors like this that look a little bit more wash and vintage. They have pattern like camo, stripes, if you're into that kind of stuff. I think the reason why I love these style and this fit of pants so much is because it is so flattering to my personal body type. As I mentioned, I'm a little bit more shorter. And so the sort of pants that I always gravitate towards with most of my outfits is anything that I feel like will elongate me. And that is naturally a sort of straight or relaxed pair of pants that just go seamlessly and flow into the boot. So it kind of gives this illusion that you're a lot taller than you are. And these pants are the perfect sort of piece to do just that. Kind of going back to what I said earlier, my style is definitely a culmination of high and low. And those Abercrombie workwear pants are barely $90. I think they're like 89 or like 87 or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do know for a fact that they are they are under $100 and sometimes they have like random discount codes or random sales. And so you can get really great pieces like that and then pair it with more expensive stuff to create really great outfits. If you see me wearing a button up shirt of any sort, chances are it is from California Arts. This one right here is my personal favorite. It's just a really nice black, slightly oversized, slightly cropped. There's two styles from California Arts that I like. One is a little bit thicker that almost could kind of be used in style as like an overshirt. And then there's another one that I always gravitate towards during the spring and summer. And that one is just a more traditional, just think of a reworked, more modern dress shirt, that sort of like lightweight fabric and material. And I like both of the styles, but I'm gonna highlight this one because naturally it is the more colder time of the year. So this is the one I'm wearing. I love this shirt so much. I have it in almost every single color that California Arts ever made it in. I have it in black, I have it in ivory, I have it in green. And it is just a staple for me that never fails me. This could be paired with joggers and some sneakers and an overcoat if I wanted to be dressed down. Or if I wanted to dress it up, I could wear it with some cropped trousers, some loafers, a more formal coat, like a cropped pea coat of some sort, or a more dressier overcoat and like do my hair and I would be good to go. This shirt right here has truly just been a piece for me that I don't have to think of in when it comes to styling. It never fails me. And, and just in addition to pieces that can be dressed up or dressed down, that is exactly what I look for when I'm adding things into my wardrobe. The sort of pieces that I'm highlighting today and these sort of 10 categories of men's fashion clothing. When it comes to my personal style, I don't want to think about it too much. I just want it to be effortless. I want to be able to open my closet, grab something, and then grab something else and know that they're going to mesh well and they're going to style together nicely. And the California art shirt that I, that I was holding, that is the epitome of a button up shirt that just truly never fails me. I can't recommend it enough. Again, that is the more heavyweight overshirt style sort of version. And then they have a more lightweight version. So depending on if you live in a more warmer climate area, um, I'll leave both of them linked down below for you guys. This is a piece that I usually gravitate towards more often during the spring and summertime, but nonetheless, I wanna mention it in this video because it is truly a wardrobe favorite of mine. These Uniqlo trousers right here, I have them in every single color. These pants right here are perfect for the more warmer seasons. If I'm just kind of keeping my outfit super simple, imagine this sort of cropped trouser with a really good sneaker, maybe a tank top tucked into the trousers or like a shirt just worn by itself or even tucked in and maybe like a sweatshirt sort of draped over my shoulders. 
sweaters. That's sort of where this pant style comes into my personal outfits and my personal sort of style. If I'm looking for a pair of pants that I really want to highlight my shoe and I don't want it to like take away from it, I will always opt for a crop trouser. A couple things that I want to note about the crop trouser sort of thing is for the most part, it can be dressed up or dressed down. And so that is a plus within itself. These trousers specifically from Uniqlo are really inexpensive and I have two hacks for you guys. So if you are able to go in store to Uniqlo, they do offer hemming services. So depending on if you want it a little bit more cropped, just like how I do, you can obviously ask them for that free of charge. You just gotta buy the pant in store or something that I like to do and something that my wife helps me with is I really like this specific hemming tape from Amazon. It's just a hemming tape that's like you just iron it and it works on almost every single style of pant and almost every single sort of material. Every single sort of cropped pant that you see me wearing on my social media feeds and on my past videos, I have used this Amazon hemming tape. And so I will leave that link down below for you guys. It's super inexpensive, super easy to use, and it's such a great way to customize your clothes without having to take it to the tailor and wait on the tailor for them to be done. The Amazon hemming tape, I'm telling you, I will leave those trousers as well as the tape links down below for you guys. My last and final piece is actually a piece that I'm wearing right now, and that is this hat right here from Amazon. The real ones know, I've been saying it ever since I started the social media thing. I will wear a hat even though I am paying X amount of dollars for a proper fade and haircut. There is something about a hat being a outfit finisher and just adding a hat to my overall outfits that I just personally feel like elevates it and just kind of makes the outfit that much more better. I love a hat because in addition to the sunglass sort of tip that I mentioned earlier, hat are really great, affordable, and just seamless and easy way to sort of bring your outfits from here to here. These Amazon hats are under $10. I think they're like seven bucks or something. I have them in an assortment and a wide variety of different colors. And I always gravitate towards a hat like this to match these sort of tones that I'm wearing for a specific outfit. You know, it's just one of those things that if I'm not really in the mood to do my hair, or if I'm just looking for something to kind of be more on my like casual flex, more like subtle vibes, if I'm like going to the airport, if I'm going out and running errands, if I just kind of want to wear it a little bit more low, I feel like it's, it sounds kind of stupid, but a hat just really comes through for me in any sort of instant. Another reason why I love a hat so much, and it's the last thing I'm gonna say about it, is hats are a really great entry level way and usually the most inexpensive way to get into your favorite brands. So for example, I love Loewe, I love Prada, I love Mason Margiela, Balenciaga, the list truly goes on and on and on. Usually when it comes to designer brands like that, the hats are the most inexpensive thing that they are going to offer on their website. And so if you wanna you know, rep the brand or if you're a content creator like me and you're trying to get noticed by the brand, purchasing, styling, and posting, again, if you wanna be a content creator, just a simple outfit with the branded hat from that said brand could potentially get you noticed. And it's just a great way to rep the brand if you don't have that budget to commit to the full-fledged sort of ready-to-wear pieces. So overall hats, 10 out of 10. These ones right here are my go-to. All right, you guys, and that is it for my top 10 favorite pieces that are currently in my wardrobe. The sort of thing that I want to mention real quick before I go is these pieces right here, the 10 that I mentioned, although they're my personal favorites, like the exact ones, you don't have to get the exact sort of piece. I'll have links to some alternatives down below featuring different sort of price range and price points. If you like my style and you see me sporting these things and you're like, oh, where are these things from? Where I always see you wearing this, like speak about it more here. That's kind of what this video was supposed to be. Just me highlighting 10 things that I really mess with. And if you want to get something similar, definitely do so, but you don't have to be pressured to get that specific one because I did feature a lot of expensive things. So don't ever feel pressured to buy things uh, just because you see me wearing them. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and hopefully it served some sort of inspo and help to you guys. And hopefully you guys are having the best fall season so far. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So I think I waited to the end to kind of be chatty because I don't like to off at the top waste you guys' time. But if you made it this far and if you're new here, what's up? My name is Stevie. I create men's fashion content just like this with the occasional vlog. And I do a lot more over on Instagram and TikTok. So if you aren't already, be sure to follow me over there. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this. You know, all of that traditional sort of promo. Quickly clean this up, edit this video and turn it out for you guys. So hopefully you guys are doing well and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.